Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to place a trade within the CQG for iOS platform. Placing a trade on this platform is a very simple process. All trades will be placed through the first tab where your quote board is on. And if you're familiar at all with the CQG desktop platform, it is a very similar process to that. At first glance, you will not notice a trading button to place any of the trades, but to gain access to them, click on any of the active contracts you see on your quote board. And when you click on one of the active contracts, not only will your charts pop up, but you also have your dome or your hot chart, your order ticket page, your orders, positions, etc. This is where you will be placing all your trades within this platform. Now, unfortunately, because I am using the demo version of this platform, I will not be able to place a trade that you will be able to see in my orders or my positions tab. All I can do is simply simulate the fact that I am placing an order. Fortunately, most platforms have similar functions when attempting to place a trade. As you can see here, I'm working within my dome chart. And if I wanted to place a trade below the market price, simply scroll down below the market and click on the price I'd like to trade at. When you do click on one of the prices within your dome chart, the trading buttons on the right will automatically adapt to the position you pick on the dome ladder. And based on the price that you do select in your dome ladder, your trading buttons will adjust accordingly to whether you can place stops or limit orders. Now if I scroll over one tab to the right under my ticket tab, this is where you can manually place all of your trades in without going through your dome chart. Unfortunately, you can't have your dome or a regular chart open at this time. You'll simply have to maybe write down a price or just put that price in your head and then you can manually adjust it within this page. Another way of keeping track of the current price is to press the play button that I'm currently clicking on. This automatically adjusts the price on the ticket page to the market price of the current contract based off of CQG's data feed. You can also enter in a custom price by clicking on the price. And this is where writing down or keeping the price in your head may be useful because you can, as you can see here, manually enter in the price that you'd like to pick. To the left of our price, we have the ability to change the size of a contract. And above our price, we have the buy and sell buttons. Depending on what you click, your ticket window will adjust accordingly, green being buys and red being sells. Below our price buttons, we have the order types and the order durations. As you can see, these will automatically adjust based off the current price you are at. But if you would like to manually enter in your price in the order type, you have the ability to do so. And as I mentioned, below the order types, we have the order durations. There's fill or kill, fill and kill, day or good till day. If you do happen to select the good till day duration type, you'll notice to the right of the duration button, there will be a calendar that pops up and you can man manually input your day here. And finally here, if you notice, if we scroll down in the ticket window, we have our buy or sell buttons that will adjust accordingly to the previous preference that we did take. And we have our buy at bid price, buy at asking price, buy at the market, or the final button will be the order type that we did select above and this will automatically adjust based off the order type you did select. As I mentioned before, trading within this platform is a fairly simple process. It's unfortunate that I can't show you the actual orders being placed due to us being on a demo account. If you would like to see a real-time example of me trading within a similar platform, check out our CQG desktop playlist on our YouTube channel. Here you will find tutorial videos on how to manage the order ticket windows, your orders, and your open positions. As you may have saw, all of these features are packed within the CQG for iOS platform, but like I just mentioned, I can't show you these in true detail based off the fact that we are running a demo account. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email.
Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.